In my last video, I unboxed these two IEMs, the Blown Mini and uh, Final Audio E1000. Both are on the cheaper side of the spectrum. They are entry level, more budget kind of uh, IEMs. None of these are priced more than $40. And I believe $40 is a very good entry level IEM price. And uh, both these IEMs have uh, dynamic drivers. They are not hybrid or anything. There are a lot of IEMs in the market which, which are equipped with even five five drivers in an earpiece but they are a lot more flavored but here the blonde and the e1000 both have smaller micro drivers in them 6mm to be precise and uh, both are very good for entry level iems if you want to enter into the audio file market or if you want to buy IEM for your daily use and you are not very critical a lot critical about details and technicalities these two IEMs are what I would like to suggest you guys both these are inexpensive and should not be a problem for daily commute if you even uh, lose one you will not be uh, frowning upon it you will not be angry about it nevertheless let's start with the sound quality now the blonde mini even though it has only one dynamic driver 6mm dynamic driver what what is that mochi lightweight diaphragm yeah so it's it's just a new dynamium new dimium magnet driver and this has very good base better base than the E1000. E1000 is more balanced. It, it does not have a lot of bass. If you want bass and a fun sound signature, then you should opt for the Blonde Mini. Blonde Mini has very good mid bass volume. The sub bass is good, as good as the E1000. But when compared to the mid bass, the sub bass of the Blonde is not exactly impressive. It's okay reasonable at best when you are paying $30 you should not be asking a lot from IM of this price so sub base is good mid base is very good and it is not wooly like the BL03 this is not wooly the blonde mini is more controlled it has very good slam moves a reasonable amount of air and the volume of the slam is very good too but then again it's it's not of the base head level it still is more balanced when compared to the blonde bl03 now the final is not exactly basic as i said this is a very balanced sounding im and it does not has any any emphasis to any part of the spectrum but it do lack some emphasis to the upper mid lower triple region and we will talk about that later but in the in the base region i'll have to say the the this base is reasonable this is not exactly great i'll i'll not be able to say that it will please bass heads or even those who like thumpy sound they will find this to be slightly bothering this is perfectly good for an iem but uh, if you like a bit of fun sound signature this will not be able to provide that this is more balanced it has the thump but then you have to drive it properly from a mobile phone it might not be able to uh, provide you the best quality uh, sound it has but if you drive it from a dap or a usb dongle it will be able to give you very good bass not not bassy not on the heavier side but it is good now moving on the mid range the as i said e1000 is more balanced it does not it does not lack forwardness or anything while the blonde blonde is v-shaped blonde does not have a lot of emphasis or forwardness to the mid-range but but the strange thing that even though this has a forward mid-range which is not in the v this one has sharper notes notes on the blonde are sharper cleaner more transparent and are a bit more precise but then this these are susceptible to some 
some peaks and sibilance while the e1000 is much smoother the tuning of the e1000 is a lot more mature and it sounds very 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 good when it comes to maturity it does not have any peaks or any agitation it does not show any kind of problem with with uh, any kind of uh, music it it just is very good when it comes to control and that is not available with the blonde blonde is more fun and with fun comes the sharper notes and that that holds true for the triple 2 whether whether e1000 is slightly lacking transparency in the lower treble upper mid region this one is not and this one is not lacking with uh, transparency there but then it is again susceptible to some sharpness sharper notes if you like calmer calmer music you do not want much attack you do not like the kind of aggression you want a smoother more mature a bit more laid back sound from your im nothing nothing really comes close to this one this this japanese im is very good the tuning is excellent you drive it properly and it delivers without any problem it just is very good but if you want more transparency more attack more energy it might not be able to deliver but the bl mini blonde mini does does deliver on the on the transparency and attack front where it lacks is the maturity the control it is slightly agitated it feels a bit more sharper there are some instances of piercing too which can throw some off this is more more balanced than the than the pl03 but is a bit more sharper and harsher side too but if you like that attack if you like the kz kind of attack kz kind of sound this is a very good im better than kz ims for sure this is exceptionally good if you are not shying away from a bit more aggression in the treble region now when it comes to stage size this is very tall this one has tall stage exceptionally tall stage but is much more intimate when it comes to the x axis it is very intimate it does not have any width the depth is good but that width really kills kills the stage while the e1000 has slightly shorter height but the x axis width is very good and the z axis is very similar too overall this is a very mature sounding im this is a fun sounding im and a bit more transparent uh, one can say this has a bit more clarity obviously when you when you have better transparency you get more details a bit more tingliness more sparkle and stuff this one do not have a lot of sparkle or anything it is smoother sounds mature a, a bit more laid back and the finishing of notes is immaculate final audio is known for that tuning and this entry level im is a very good example to that so that's it uh, i do not have a lot of iams in this price range i have a kb or kb04 with me and this is this is very good too this this used to be priced at 30 dollar and uh, this is a bit more evolution to the bl03 uh, this is a hybrid im and that that shows because this has more aggression it has more energy in the treble and mid mid instruments while the vocals are really suppressed there's the point where the where the kb04 loses it does not have that much of forwardness or uh, that that transparency in the vocal region it feels a bit more suppressed nevertheless this is good if you like bass and treble i'll say you can pick this over this too but i do not think this is readily available here in india but if you like a more balanced or a bit more controlled sound this too can be considered depending upon how much balance and how much attack you are willing to receive <laughs> how much balance and attack you are willing to put up with so that's it there's the comparison and uh, review of this two excellent sounding iams we are touching 10 minute 10 minutes thank you for watching guys have a nice day enjoy